hello and in this video tutorial i will be teaching you guys how to install the uh, metasploitable in your windows 10 now i will uh, paste the link in the description below so that you can uh, download it yourself uh, so yeah i will uh, uh, copy and paste the link in the description so you can download it yourself you're gonna click the download and the download will start and once the download is done you're going to find the download in this I'm just gonna delete for you so that you can see what uh, what to do from the start so when the download finish this will pop up in your computer and it will save on your downloads folder which is the default folder when you download things stuff and everyone on the internet so once you're done downloading this uh, metasploitable uh rar file you're just gonna right click this and you, you can see the extract to metasploitable linux 2.00 and then stuff and all that so you're just gonna click this one and you should wait it doesn't take a minute so it just takes a couple of seconds and we're just going to wait now this part is very important because you cannot uh, you cannot open the uh the uh metasploitable vmd when you're not extracting this one so we're now done in extracting this you can see right here we're just going to click this one let's click this one also and we're now done here now we are going to use the vmsd i guess this one and for that to start our metasploitable tool we're just going to make a new one first go to your virtual box i am using the oracle virtual box and you're just gonna click this new uh, thing right here. Just gonna click that, and you're going to name it. I'm just gonna name it to Meta Meta Exploitable. And since I've made a new one, I'm just going to uh, delete this one. I don't know why, but uh, I made a Meta Exploitable a two back then and. I'm just going to delete this, uh, delete that one because I'm just gonna find it right here. Virtual box MS. I uh, don't. Uh, you can skip this one for uh ten seconds. I guess I'm just going to delete this one because I I'm not going to use that anymore. So I'm just gonna go back in here and you cannot you can't follow those what I uh, put earlier because. I have downloaded the uh, uh, Metasploitable 2 earlier and I want to delete that. So let's continue here. I'm gonna uh, name the Metasploitable 2. You can name it whenever you want and choose the folder. And this is the folder that I want to choose. This is the default folder in your virtual box. And into this type, you're gonna uh, select the Linux because this is a Linux type. And you're gonna choose Debian 64 bit and just click next and you just set it to default it's not really important right now and create a virtual hard disk now and yeah that's click that and just click create and once you're in this hard disk file time you uh hard disk file type you are just going to select the vmdk which is the virtual machine disk this is very important so that you cannot yeah yeah let's just click next and uh you're gonna select the dynamically uh, allocated click next like i said this is not very important right here you can set it to 2 gb if you want i'm gonna set it to 1 gb because the, it's not really that uh high i'm gonna set it right here it depends on you guys but yeah so when we are done it's gonna look like this we're not going to click start yet no 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 we're not gonna do that first we're gonna click the mr exploitable 2 and click the settings and once we are done we are going to go to the general tab and go to advanced and and select the bidirectional so that you can copy and paste the words in the meta exploitable 2 in your computer so once we are done going to this is the most important part you are going to go to the storage run controller ide and as we can, uh, uh, please follow my instruction click the controller ide 
and then you're gonna see the ads new storage attachment you're gonna click that follow the mouse cursor if you don't find this and click the hard disk and i'm just going to delete this one because i'm i'm not gonna use it wait it's supposed to oh there we go i'm i don't know how to delete it but yeah so it's just click the add and we're going to add on our uh, downloads folder as you remember earlier that we have extracted the metasplitable 2 just gonna click that and metasplitable and this is the file that we want to use click open and now we are done click the choose and uh, choose this there we go and and uh, one of the things that you have to do is click on network and enable the network adapter you're just going to choose the bridge adapter and you're going to choose the interface that you want to use and since i'm using my uh, my wi-fi i'm going to choose this thing because this is my wi-fi and this is my computer so you just click ok and you're just going to start it this that's just it that's pretty easy right like I said, you can download it whenever you want. You can use it to help. Um, I choose your this. Uh, there we go. It's starting up. Don't worry. It doesn't take a couple of minutes. Just take a couple of seconds or minutes, I guess. But yeah, it doesn't keep, uh, it doesn't take much of that time. Uh, please follow my instructions carefully so that you uh, understand it. Here we go. Just wait for you to load. And there we go we are now in the metasploitable login so for this if you don't know the username and password of metasploitable it's super easy the username is msf admin and the password is also msf admin and now we're in our metasploitable <laughs> you see that's super easy now we're in our metasploitable and if we set the we're gonna find some vulnerabilities like here and see the vulnerable there we go this is the uh, vulnerable types in here and if you're going to find the IP address say IP config ah it's not IP it's IF config and there we go we are now our IP address is 192.168.1.5 and now we're done we're just going to uh, test if this IP address it does work or not because there are many vulnerabilities in this IP address 1.2.5 there we go it's working so I hope you enjoy my video and if you like this video please make sure to click the like button and if you are new to my channel uh, click the subscribe button and that's all I uh, hope you guys have a nice day and thank you